So the thing is, your audience is tired. I want you to think of how many Zoom calls your audience has been on, how much scrolling, how much news they have consumed. And the thing is, you're tired too, right? So you're tired, your audience is tired, yet your business continues and you need to keep creating content for them. Let's talk about what people are doing right now when it comes to content. <clears throat> It's very easy to want to fall off the content train, to get off that dreadmill of content creation. But I really want you to understand that now is not the time to give up creating content for your people. Maybe you feel overwhelmed. Maybe you don't know what to say. Maybe you're just really freaking tired. But your audience is probably suffering with the pain point, the problem, or the challenge. They're probably still looking for a solution, even though they're tired. In fact, their problems might be exacerbated. Things have probably gotten worse for the very people who are relying on your content. So I know you're tired and I know that they're tired, but this is not the time to give up. You need to share the right content with the right people. So there's a couple of things that I see people doing in the content creation space that we can just get rid of. And one of them is fire hosing your audience with lots of different topics every day or every week or every month. In fact, if you wake up every day and you think, what am I going to write about today? Or what am I going to post on Instagram? Or what am I going to do my Facebook live about? And today it's this and today it's this and today it's this, or I'm sorry, today it's this and tomorrow it's that and next week it's that. And you're all over the place. <clears throat> it's very hard for your audience to keep up with you. Imagine if there was a thread that your audience could follow along with you so that they didn't fatigued by thinking about like, what is she talking about today? And that is why I'm going to share my favorite solution for content creation systems to help you stop fire hosing your audience and give them what I call fish food, little teeny tiny pieces of content based on a thread that they can follow, go take back to their castle and digest, <clears throat> excuse me. Remember that your audience, yes, they have a lot going on, but your post, your email, your live is just one small thing that they have to do all day. So let's make it easy for them to consume. So I want you to think about one overarching theme that you could talk about all month that your clients or your audience members need to know. I want you to think of it almost as an umbrella. It's an umbrella theme. This month, the reason I'm talking about this with you is because this month, I'm only talking about secrets of content creation, how to make content creation better. What are the mistakes that we make? What are the myths? What are the best practices? All about content creation this month. And there's so much to say. And the thing is, I know you have so much to say about every topic that your audience needs to learn. So just the first thing you do when you're thinking about February or March or April or whatever month you want to plan for, think about one one broad topic. Then, so mine is secrets to content creation, right? So week one might be the mistakes that you're making. Week two might be the podcast as an option for great content creation. Week three might be um, how to uh, repurpose your content creation. So I would break everything down into four bite-sized pieces and every one of those subtopics becomes a week's worth of content. So this overarching theme and then these four subtopics is the simplest way that I know to create content. Now, a lot of people will say, well, that's too uh, rigid for me, but it doesn't have to be rigid. And also it's not boring for your audience. It makes your audience so much easier. It makes it easier for them to absorb what you're trying to say. So when you have a mini topic just for the week, you're probably thinking, oh, people are gonna get bored with what I'm saying. No, they're not because there's so much to learn and you can only give them a bite size. Like I'm not on here doing a 20 minute talk on this one topic of, of how to do this. I'm literally giving it to you in a bite sized nugget in a little fish food so that you can take it and think about it and say, hmm, maybe I can try that next month. Maybe I can talk about one overarching thing and break it down into four subtopics. Maybe I'm going to think about that next month because that's all we've got time for. So I want you to think about this fish food strategy. Is that something that your audience would benefit from rather than kind of splatting everything against the, the wall for them and they have to sort through it all? Make it easy for your audience. I promise you, they will not get bored because you have so much to teach and you're doing it in a, in a delicious way with your own flavor that they want to come back for over and over again. Your audience loves you. They're not there necessarily to be, you know, 
learn all the things from you. They just want to learn exactly what they need today. So make space for your audience to take in what you have to say. I'm going to link to my system below and you can, it's a, it's a total freebie. It's a system that teaches you how to plan and then replan the next month after that and the next month after that without ever having to repeat yourself. I promise you. The other cool thing is my genius assistant, Jessica, she figured out how to make this a fillable document. So you don't even have to print it out. You can do it right from your computer. So I want to say I appreciate you showing up for my content because if you're trying to grow a business, you know that content creation is so important. So if you have a friend who's been complaining about content creation or maybe is avoiding content creation at all, please share this with that person so that they can understand this easy system of the umbrella with four subtopics. It is a total game changer. I hope this works for you. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. And if this doesn't work, I promise I have so many other systems that will be another option for you. But give this one a try because I have found it to be so easy. Thanks for showing up. Bye.